Hello everyone and welcome. You know, I've tested several tire inflators in the past and I keep looking for new inflators all the time to help you guys find the best one for your needs. Today we're going to look at a 2-in-1 portable tire inflator and air compressor. This unit has several cool features that I think make it quite practical for both home use and roadside emergency use. Instead of dealing with a large and bulky air compressor, this little guy can do a lot of work in a very compact size. So let's unbox this puppy and see what I got this time. But before we do that, if you enjoy watching honest tool and product reviews plus helpful DIY projects, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you get notified every time I produce another product review video or DIY video. Alright, so let's see what we have here. Here's a shot of the box for you. Let's open this puppy up and see what I got. Alright guys, so when you unbox this puppy, this is everything you get. Now this is the 2-in-1 portable air compressor from VacLife, available on Amazon, link in description below. At the time of making this video, this unit retails for $49.99. But they also have a 30% off discount coupon on their Amazon page, making it even cheaper than that. So what do you get when you unbox this puppy? Well, you get the air compressor inflator itself. You get a bunch of attachments to use with different things that you're trying to inflate. You get two different cords that are detachable, and these cords are for whether you want to use it in your car, you have a 12 volt cord, or at home, you have a 110 cord. And you get the instruction manual that tells you everything about the unit, how to take care of it, how to prep it up and set it up, all that kind of good stuff. I suggest you read through that. So the dimensions on this guy are rather compact, but very usable. You got eight inches in this way, seven inches this way, including the handle. Otherwise it's only about five inches, but seven inches, including the handle and five inches in depth. So fairly compact and it only weighs 2.5 pounds. So again, not very heavy at all. So this guy is great for using it around the house or on the road because it runs on either 12 volt or 120 volt. Either one, you have two cores for each one. Now the 12 volt cord for using it in your vehicle is nine feet long. So that gives you a lot of reach to all the tires in your car if you're inflating a tire or all the way around the vehicle. For house use, the 120 cord is five feet long. So that gives you quite a good reach right there as well for whatever it is you're doing. It also has a convenient storage compartment on the back where you can keep everything nice and neatly tucked away so you don't have to worry about having a mess everywhere. It has a convenient backlit LED, which I'll show you in a moment, which is very convenient to see it either during the day or at night because it lights up. And for your convenience on the display, you can select four different pressure readings that you can set it to. You can set it to your favorite, whether it's PSI, bar, KPA or kilograms per centimeter squared. It also has a convenient LED light on the side of the unit right over here where you can use it either as a work light or as an emergency use light. Let me plug it in. I'll show you how that looks. All right. So I plugged the unit in and you can see right there how it has a very nice LED display that is well lit for either day or nighttime use. As far as the LED light goes on the side here, it has a very simple button that you press and you can light it up either as as a work light if you have trouble at night and you need to see something or for emergency use because it has red and white LEDs and it also blinks. So if you want to notify someone that you're having trouble, you're broken down, you can use that light on the side of the road and it comes in very, very handy. Now, as far as the cords go, you have two plugs right here, one for 12 volt, one for the 110 house use, and they are detachable, making it very neat and convenient. As you see, you take off the cord and you're free to go and do whatever you want anywhere. No cords dangling from the unit that you need to worry about. So that's very convenient right there. I like things that are nice and neat and easy to store away. And this one has a lot of neatness built into it. It has a convenient handle for carrying it around, which is nice and sturdy. So you can easily grab it and carry it around just like a suitcase. Very convenient and sturdy. No handle flopping around. You don't have to worry about that. It also has a very convenient feature where it has anti-vibration feet on it. I don't know if you can see right there, but it has good size anti-vibration feet, which we're going to test out later on. And they jiggle and wiggle so that the unit won't jiggle and wiggle. That's the cool thing about it. A lot of these units, when you start using them, you try to fill up a tire on your car and you put these down on the cement or asphalt and they'll walk away from you because of all the vibration. 
This unit should hopefully not have that problem. It should stay put wherever you put it because of these anti-vibration feet. So we're going to test those out in a moment and see exactly how well those guys work out. It also has an auto shutoff feature where it turns off at whatever the pressure is that you set it to go to. So this guy is great for using it around the house or on the go. It can be used for inflating car tires, truck tires, motorcycle tires, bicycle tires, game balls, flotation devices, inflatable pools, inflatable boats, or just about anything that requires an air compressor or air pump. Use it around the house or on the go. It's ready to go either way you want it. So let's test this puppy out and see how well it performs. All right, guys, so let's test this puppy out and see how it performs. Now, I have it set up. I have it hooked up to my vehicle tire right there. And in case you're curious, the hose that comes out of the back of the machine is 23 inches long. So you can reach up to 23 inches from the machine to whatever it is that you're inflating. I have it set up a little different, obviously, for shooting purposes here. Anyway, so I have the machine set up and I have a timer. We're going to see how long it takes to inflate a decent amount of pressure right there. Now, I dropped the pressure on my tire down to 9 PSI. You can see right there, it's telling you 9 PSI. That's all that's in there. I didn't feel comfortable going any lower than that because I don't want to damage my tire, my rim, anything like that. So I don't want to go any lower. But I have it set up to go all the way up to 40 PSI, which is the normal range for inflating a tire anywhere from zero up to whatever is the normal pressure. Most tires are 30, 35, 32, somewhere around there. So this should be that good range that we can see exactly how it performs. So anyway, I'm going to turn this puppy on and see how it performs as far as how long it takes to inflate it. I'm going to turn on the timer and see how long that takes to do it. And we're going to see how the anti-vibration system works on this guy if it starts walking away or if it stays put. So that'll be a good indication of just about everything of this little pump right there. So let's hook this guy up, let's set it up and get going, see how it performs. And we'll find out exactly also how noisy it is, because some of these guys are really noisy. Let's see if this guy is noisy or not. So let's do it. <laughs> Actually, not very noisy at all. Alright guys, there you have it. So 31 PSI took 8 minutes. It is not the fastest machine that I have tested so far, but on the plus side, I will say that it is fairly quiet. It, you can stand right next to it and it really does not bother you a lot. Through the camera, I'm sure it's very difficult to tell the sound, but in person, it is fairly quiet. Second thing is that 
it didn't move. You notice it stayed right there. It has not moved at all. So that anti-vibration system works really, really well. One of the annoying things about most of these little compact compressors is that you hook them up and they walk away from you. You got to keep an eye on them because they will not stay where you put them. So this guy did a good thing. So I would say this guy is pretty convenient as far as you just hook it up. Set it up to the pressure you want and walk away from it and let it do its thing. So it may take a little while, but on the plus side, that also means that the motor won't be overworked and it should last a little bit longer. And I can actually say it is not hot. It is a tiny little bit warm, but for all the work that it did, a lot of units get really, really hot. It is not hot. So that is a plus side right there. So they made this motor to be durable. So that's a good thing right there. All right, guys, there you have it. A review and demonstration of the Backlife portable air compressor and tire inflator. I think this is a very convenient little unit. It has a convenient size and can be used at home or on the go. No need for a large bulky air compressor to fill up your game balls or flotation devices. It also works as a vehicle tire inflator for roadside emergencies. It has a convenient LED work light and emergency flasher in case you break down at night. And the motor is also fairly quiet and stays cool after a lot of use. That should hopefully mean that the pump motor will last you a long time since it's not overly stressed out when it's working. Check out their Amazon page for complete details. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye for now.